Hey guys, it's Angus, and today I'm going to show you how to fix any Ethernet cable. So this could be Cat5 or Cat6. So for this example, I'll be fixing a Cat5 cable, and what I've done is I've actually bought a Cat5 repair kit, which can easily be bought online. So from this one, I've actually got it from Maplands. So if you've got a different Ethernet cable that you want to fix, then what you need to do is actually go to the cable and actually find what type of cable it is. So for this to actually work, what you will need, of course, is your broken cable, and then you'll also need a crimp tool, and of course you'll need an Ethernet plug as well. So here is my blue Cat5 broken cable, and as you can see, what we're going to do here is actually clip it off to actually to start from scratch, because some of you may have actually already done this. So for this, you don't actually need any specialist tools, you can just use a pair of scissors, and... What I did here is actually not a very good clean cut, I would advise actually getting rid of it nice and flat, but to be honest that doesn't really matter that much. Of course if you do have the crimp tool then you can also use that to make it a more of a clean cut. So to start with actually making the cable the right cut, what you want to do is actually get the crimp tool and you'll see that there's sort of two parts, there's the sort of parts where you can actually get the blade. You actually want to flip it over to get it to this side and you'll see that there's a hole which will actually allow to put the cable which will fit in quite nicely. Now once you actually clamp it down it won't actually snap it all off. What it will do is it will actually put the knife or the blade a little bit into it and what you want to do is just actually twist it because this will actually allow you to cut the actual protective plastic without actually damaging the actual wires inside it. Now again, you can use different tools for this, but this tool specifically is actually really good because it means that you won't actually damage the wires inside because that's really important. And what you want to do is actually just move it round and twist it and then actually take it off and actually just sort of twist the plastic and it will come off quite nicely. So this will give you access to the actual wires inside and then from there we can actually progress on to actually trying to put the wires into the actual plug. Now this is going to be a bit difficult but what you want to do is actually go to the actual fixed side of it because some of you may actually find that both the ends are broken but you want to find a similar ethernet cable and you actually want to compare it. The best thing to also do is actually find the spare plug that you're actually going to be using and just compare it to the other ends because you want to make sure that it's exactly the right size. So for this one it just happens that the actual end of it of mine was actually broken so the one that I've got into my hand is actually the actual fixed one which is brand new and you can find these dead cheap on the internet. I actually found on eBay I could find a hundred pack of these for just three pounds. If you've managed to find a kit then you'll probably find that it actually comes with several different plugs and this will definitely come with the right plug for all Cat5 cables. So again you want to actually go to the fixed cable and you actually want to actually find the combination of how the colours have gone. So of course what you then want to do is actually find the individual separate wires because on this Cat5 cable it goes orange first and then blue and then green and then brown. You actually want to get them in the right order and they will already be twisted. But what you want to do is actually just find the individual colours and then separate them out. So once you've separated them out quite nicely, what you want to do is actually untangle the individual ones. So we'll come with two different ones which will be light and then dark. So we've got dark orange and then sort of a white slash orange colour. And this will be the same for each individual colour. So we have white and orange, then orange, then light blue and white, and then blue and then so on. So to ensure this works, what you actually want to do is try really, really hard with your fingers to actually make sure that they are really nice and flat. They will be curved because they've been tangled for a really long time and the bond will be quite strong, but you just want to try really hard to actually flatten them out as much as you can. This is because the more you actually flatten them out, the individual wires, the easier it'll actually make when you actually go to putting them in the plug. So what you want to keep doing is actually looking back at the original cable and actually ensuring that you've got the colours in the right combination because this bit is really really important and probably the most important part of actually repairing the cable. So once you're confident enough that you've actually got all the wires set, you can actually find the actual plug and actually try to put it in. Now there's two different ways, you can either actually put them all in at once or you can actually try to put them in individually. Firstly, I'm going to talk to you how to actually do it with the main method, which is actually putting them all at once. So what you want to do is actually find the, all the individual cables and actually use a pair of scissors or just a blade to actually cut along the top to actually make it all the same length. And you probably want to leave about 2 centimeters of exposed cable. 
Once you've done that, you can actually try to all put them at once. And if you haven't got them in the right colour, then you can just pull the cable back out and actually try to rearrange the cables. The second method is actually my preferred method and not many tutorials actually go over this. What you can of course do is actually put them all in differently. Now the reason people want to put them all in at once is because it's a lot quicker, but if you want to do it in a kind of easier way but it will take longer, just put them all in differently. You can actually all put them in at the same time per colour, so you can actually just find one of the same colour and put those both in. Or if you really just don't want to do that, you can actually just find every single individual cable and match them up to the original cable and just put them in. So once you've actually got round to putting all the cables in the right order and the same length, what you want to actually do is firstly make sure that no cable is exposed. So in this example, I've actually made it a little bit easier because I've got some of the cable exposed, but what you want to do is actually have some of the cable hidden inside the actual plug. So what you want to do is be really careful because if you just let go, it will come straight out and you will actually have to do it all over again. So actually when you've got all the cables accurately placed in, you want to be really careful because again it will come straight out and you want to get the crimp tool and actually put it in the right plug. So for a Cat5 cable you actually want to put it in the bigger socket. Just to be sure you want to actually find a spare one and actually just put it in. And of course you actually want to put it in with the plug down first in the right order. And you want to be quite careful, again you want to put it all the way in. So if you just let go of the cable and the actual plug it will just fall straight out. So again, for those who actually have to start again, what you can do is just actually make sure that all of them are level and actually try to put them in. But of course, putting them in exactly the right way is really important. Make sure they're all flat and then just put them in. So holding the plug actually quite tight, you actually want to put it in the right way and then you can actually press down and this will actually lock the cables into the actual plug from preventing them from coming out. So once you've actually done that, your cable should actually be ready to be used and it should be properly fixed. So that is actually how to fix it and of course, thank you for watching. Oh shit! There is a lot of them. Oh my god! Oh, we gotta get the fuck out of her. And before I know it, there's another one on my ass.